and welcome to Old Toy, New Joy, the show where I share with you my previously enjoyed toys I purchased from online sources, thrift stores, and collector shows that once belonged to someone else. Recently, I posted on Old Toy, New Joy an episode featuring someone's childhood sticker album from the 1980s. If you haven't seen it, please check it out because the album has some really cool stickers in it of things like He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, DC Superheroes, G.I. Joe, Garfield, Dinosaurs, Googly Eyes, and much, much more. Unfortunately, there were no prismatic stickers or hardly any smelly stickers in that album. But that's why we are here today, to show you some great prism and scratch and sniff stickers from the 80s that I recently purchased on eBay. With me today is Jilly Bean. Hello. And she's going to help me go through these. We also have some cool Peanuts or Snoopy stickers to look at. So let's get started. So let's start off with these Trend Scratch and Sniff stickers from the 1980s. Uh, I got nine of these for about $3.50 each from an eBay seller. These stickers can run... 10 15 dollars each and other smelly stickers are currently listed on ebay for over a hundred so unused mint just like this uh highly collectible i could only afford these nine and i'm pretty happy with the nine jelly bean why don't you go through each one give them a scratch give them a sniff and tell us what you smell okay it smells like grape does it smell good? Yeah. Okay. This one kind of smells like peanut butter. Okay. That makes sense. It looks like a peanut. Either that or a piece of poo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one smells like putty kind of flavored. Putty? Yeah. Oh. Is this gonna smell like a rabbit? It smells like chocolate flavored putty. Okay. I don't know where the putty's coming from. I don't really can I can't tell what this would smell like. Okay. Hmm. Maybe it's not a smelly sticker. Well it is. It smells like something. Oh, okay. This one smells like toothpaste. It's not a frog. Yeah, it's really toothpaste. Can I smell this one? Sorry? Can I give it a shot? See if I can come up with something. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> New car? I don't know what it smells like. Okay. This, I can't tell what this smells like either. Should be blueberries. Yeah, yeah. That's blueberries. For sure. Yep, that smells like grass. The fox smells more minty than this one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, definitely. That smells like Colgate toothpaste or something to me. And before we move on, one of the eBay sellers uh, actually gave me for free this cool Pac-Man sticker. I had one just like this as a kid. I remember the dots. And um, this looks like a Voltron sticker or something from the 90s. Okay, very excited about these because some of my favorite stickers from my childhood were prismatic or prism stickers. Many of them I got from vending machines. Some of them came on rolls. Rolls of stickers weren't hugely popular in the 80s. That's a big thing now. Um, so I don't think all of these came on rolls. They might have just popped out of machines. But uh, Jilly B, why don't you um, tell us what we're looking at here in order. I know you know what these first two are because it's one of your favorite things. So this one's a unicorn with hearts and a rainbow. And this one's also a unicorn laying down. Mm -hmm. And this one is a dinosaur. Looks like a T-Rex. And this one was a kangaroo with big hearts. This one looks like a cloud, but rainbow falling down at the cloud. It looks like a cloud faucet. Yeah. 
And this is um, an elephant with like a blanket on it. It says, I love you. This one is... This is a Cupid, like a cherub. Maybe this is a Valentine's Day sticker. I want to see if we can get them to sparkle for us. If we move the camera a bit. There you go. You can see that. That's really pretty. If we have a bunch of pandas, one mm -hmm. playing with a flower, I think. And then these two just standing there from the face. There's a butterfly there. This one is a red rose, which is actually. Yeah, this seller gave me these for free, these two roses, which was nice. I did not purchase that. And they got a bunch of wolves. Um, I think they're supposed to be collies. Yeah, they're actually supposed to be dogs, believe it or not. She gave me these hot air balloons, too. It's really nice of me. So pretty. I used to just stare at them when I had my prismatic stickers as a kid. Okay, now. These are Peanuts, or Snoopy stickers, from these sets. I opened up that box and that box and took a mint square of stickers out of each. I have not opened that one. It's got an album in it. Maybe we'll do a separate video one day of you putting together putting together the album or something. But these are all from a thrift store for about three dollars each. They're um, 50th anniversary peanuts, so they're probably from around 2010, I'm guessing. But uh, even on eBay, I've seen people selling squares of these for five bucks. So they are highly collectible. That's not why I'm collecting stickers. I just kind of always think if I wanted to buy these myself, what would I expect to pay currently? All right, so that's an Easter one. That's really nice. So that's a prismatic a Snoopy. There's some big Snoopy fans out there. Here's a bunch of Snoopies. You know who Snoopy is, right? Yes. How do you know Snoopy? He's from the shows and he's from the you're thinking of um, like the Charlie Brown Christmas and that kind of stuff? Yeah. yeah. And there's an Easter one too that you've seen. That's Charlie Brown. So those are just regular. They almost look like tattoo stickers. Are those tattoos? Or are they just flat stickers? I think they're just flat stickers. Mm -hmm. And then there's Valentine's Day. These are really nice. These are like long strips of stickers. This one's Halloween and some normal. Yeah, it's just all Snoopy there, like the Halloween one. The um, the Great Pumpkin. Linus and the Great Pumpkin. That's a great episode. Um, here's here's some more free stuff from that seller. This is Bobby from King of the Hill. This was a popular. Um, animated primetime show in the 1990s. There's a Snoopy there. Uh, she gave me these smiley faces. Kind of shiny. I just, I can't bring myself to like peel these and use them. They just look so good on the sheet. Uh, here's another strip of Snoopies from that set. Here's some Smurf stickers I got. Uh, I have some puffy Smurfs on the way. We're going to do a video of vintage puffy stickers, unused. But for now, these are kind of stickers that I think teachers were giving out. Why would I say that? And this one also says good work. Exactly. And this one also says be happy. Mm-hmm. And this one looks like the smiley puffy sent importance. It does. That was a free sticker. I did not buy that one. I did not buy this barf me out sticker either i think this one's from the 70s actually um but yeah the smurfs i think might have been teacher stickers that she'd put on or he would put on a test or a project or something you did well on and that's a great incentive and I, I got a lot of my stickers back in the day from teachers and um companies like sandy line who make the rolls of stickers they sell big time stickers to teachers and educators this these are some really pretty prismatic hearts uh, look, they look like a vending machine sticker square, and uh, that seller also gave me these. She also gave me these guys here. These, uh, I guess they're crabs. Um, what is this? Is this uh, the Nightmare? Yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas. That's 
one's, gave me that one. That one's a really good movie. Mm-hmm. It is. There's Barney Rubble, a 1990 Hanna-Barbera. That almost looks like it could be a rub on, like, like a tattoo. No, this is just a sticker. Um, I picked these up from a card shop a couple of years ago when Baby Yoda was really big. Um, so they're not vintage or anything, and they're they're puffy. They're a new style of puffy, not the old style. I showed in the last video of stickers how there's like plastic and a piece of foam in the middle, another piece of plastic. These are just like one piece foam. These are really cool. Vintage sticker sheets from each of the Star Wars movies. Again, new stickers, but in a very sort of vintage style. So thank you so much for joining Jilly Bean and I on Old Toy New Joy and allowing us to share my newly acquired smelly and prismatic vintage stickers. If you like the video, Please like the video, and we will keep them coming. In the meantime, we encourage you to subscribe to Old Toy New Joy so you can get caught up on the 100-plus episodes we have featuring things such as He-Man, G.I. Joe, Star Wars, Star Trek, Pogs, Marbles, Hot Wheels, Matchbox, wrestling figures, hockey cards, baseball cards, stickers, and much, much more. You will also be updated when new episodes are uploaded on YouTube. Until next time, this is your Toy Whisperer and Jelly Bean saying farewell from Old Toy, New Joy.